Hey guys, good morning. I'm at the dermatology office. This is what my forehead looks like before anything. So shiny, I'm always shiny because I have oily skin, but the texture and everything, and I'm gonna see where she ends up putting it and where I get bruising and stuff. I'm gonna ask her if I can film, but I don't know if she'll let me or not. I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm done. I asked her if I could film. She said no, which I kind of figured she would, but you know, I've seen some people film their Botox, so I was like, let me ask. I can't lie, it kind of hurts. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see all the little, I can't even tell everywhere, but you can see some of the pricks. And I did not have her do my like crow's feet area. She just did one up here to raise my drooping eyelid, <laughs> which I've always had because I just have hooded eyes and I've always had very hooded eyes. Um, and then, yeah, so let me give you some details. I know this is not for everyone. Totally cool if this is your like you're crazy Melissa. This is something I would never ever do. You didn't need it, blah blah blah, whatever. I know. I've heard all of it. I've seen all of it in the comments. <laughs> I know for some people that's like insane. I do want to mention I had set aside money for this all the way back from tax season because I've been wanting to get it for the better part of a year. And it's cold outside. <laughs> it's freezing. I don't know why I didn't bring a jacket. Um, I've been talking about it with Andres for probably a little over a year now. And I was like tossed back and forth. I really didn't know if I wanted it or not because I'm just so expressive with my face and with my eyes and with my hands. And I was like, I don't know if it's going to take away any of that. And the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, I don't want my skin creases very easily I don't have the most even pretty skin texture I have large pores and any little thing I can do to make me feel a little bit better about my skin it's just it it felt worth it to me so I had set aside the money I wasn't exactly sure how much it was going to be the place that I went to is $13 a unit um, you may get it for a couple dollars cheaper per unit you may get it for a couple dollars more expensive depending on where you go and your area $13 a unit and I needed 26 what well, I, I got 26 units so that was like a starter package I got eight units on my forehead and 18 in this area right here or maybe it was six and two I don't I did 26 all, all the way around like I said I did not do down here she just did one and one up here to lift the eyebrow a little bit so We'll see. The cool thing about Botox is, is if you hate it, you don't have to do it again in four to six months, your face will be right back to where it needs to be. So I'm not super worried about it, but I did really want to prevent like the deep, I don't have super deep lines, but from these lines that I do have from getting any deeper. And I just, I don't know. It's just something that I wanted to do for myself. Like I said, I had had the money set aside for almost a year now and I just wanted to give it a shot. I kind of went back and forth over and over about it because I was like, uh, am I gonna, am I really gonna like it? I don't know. And then what if I do like it? It's kind of, it's, it's expensive. I don't really want to continue this. Um, but we'll see, you know, if it ends up being a little extra sinking fun to make me, I told him the rest he could get some too if he likes my results, but he's like, eh, I don't really know <laughs> because he always talks about like his he has really hooded eyes as well and like he droops here and he always is talking about not liking that aspect. I'm like, you can get it too. He's not sold. So we'll see. Uh, it's going to take about a week to see maximum results. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. Again, I totally understand if this is not something that you would do. If you think I'm crazy, cool, whatever. Opinions are not always appreciated when it comes to negativity here. Um, I'm totally fine I, it doesn't really matter to me there's certain things that I would not do like this um, dermatologist does Juvederm I would not get lip filler even though I think my top lip could use a little bit of lip filler on top just because it's so small in comparison to my bottom lip I wouldn't do it just because that's I I just that's one step further than I'm willing to go right now so you know 
to each his own type of thing. I wish he'd let me record it because it's the tiniest of needles. It's like a sub Q needle. So if you give yourself insulin, that's the needle that it looks. If you've ever seen an insulin needle, it's very, very tiny. She did probably about 12 different sites and it stung. Like the initial, some of them hurt around the outer part, the initial prick did not hurt and the medication did not hurt. It just was like very little, very minimal inserting it and then I couldn't feel anything. In this area, I could feel the prick and my pain tolerance is pretty t pretty high. I could feel the prick and I can I couldn't really feel any of the medication going in or anything like that, but I could feel the initial prick. Now that it's over, that was totally manageable though, but I would say if you have a hard time giving yourself if you have a hard time with shots, a bunch of these is like, it's just a little more annoying than anything, but it, it does have a slight, a slight, it's like getting your eyebrows threaded. Like it just gives you a little bit of anxiety until it's done because you know it hurts. That's the best way I could describe it. If you get your eyebrows threaded, it's like just each hair that they pull out over and over, you're like, oh, 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 and then having to hold your eyeball, like giving, it's giving me goosebumps just thinking about it. So that's what that felt like. Now that it's over, it's not tender, like not tender to the touch, but it's burning a little bit. Like when you get an injection in your arm, when you get your flu shot or whatever, um, a flu shot is probably not a good example. I used to get B12 shots in my buttocks area, my glute, and it would burn. Like the L-carnitine, L... L-carnitine, L-lysine or something, and B12 for weight loss. I did that years and years ago. But they give it to you in your upper top hip and it burned going in. This is what that feels like. It burns. It's burning. I can feel it burning. Just slightly uncomfortable. I would say probably a 2 to 3 out of 10. Definitely manageable, but I can feel it. So in case you were wanting to go get Botox again third time's a charm I know it's not for everyone but that was just my overall experience I will let you guys know how I like it over the next week and if I hate it you'll probably hear me talk about hating it for the next four to six months until it goes away so we'll see now I'm going to run my errands and head home the post office is absolutely insane today insane I'm at a red light. I thought I would give you a quick update. My face stopped burning probably about 15 minutes ago. And so it was like within 30 to 45 minutes of actually getting the Botox, it stopped burning. I can't even feel anything when I move. It doesn't feel numb or tingly or anything like that. So very quick procedure and very quick pain that goes away or very pain that goes away quick there you go Can I see okay hey guys good morning we are sitting down for zoom another one and we've already had one yeah we're waiting for her teacher to jump on but she has a whole bunch of super cute christmas activities and mommy I got them put it under the I'm wearing this sweater one of my subscribers sent to me a while back. I feel like it was several years ago, but I love it. It's not even a sweater. It's like a hoodie. But anyway, I'm not feeling the most put together today. My hair is super dirty. But just a lot of fun Christmas activities this whole week. And there, so that's and pretty cool. Bought them, bought them for me like a lot. Yeah, we had to go pick them up from the school. So anyway, that's what we're doing. I did not vlog the rest of yesterday because honestly, them? I was, we have to wait and see what your teacher wants, okay? okay. Um, I don't even know. I was feeling kind of in a funk yesterday. So whenever that happens, I'm just, it's better that I don't jump on. So yeah, after I got home, I was just like, I don't know why. I was just feeling like down about myself and stuff and so. 
anyway, here we are today, feeling better. <laughs> um, today we're gonna try and make it a better day, try and make the day as smooth as possible. We'll see how it goes. Maddie had a hearing and vision test this morning up at the school, so it's kind of strange when we have to go up to the school for anything. Andres took her, he has a doctor's appointment, so he took her up to the school. I got distracted. I think I was talking about being strange when we have to go up to the school because I don't know, like everybody still recognizes us, still knows who we are, and I feel like I feel like people that bring their kids to school are being judged and I feel like people that are keeping their kids home are also being judged by other parents like oh my gosh why would you still keep your kids at home your kids should be in school which I 100% agree with they definitely should be in school but I just feel like if I have I've talked about this before if I have the power to keep them home if I didn't have a choice if I had to work full-time on the desk he's going back to work and very shortly here just in a week and a half or two weeks maybe um i i just feel like if i had the power to keep them home i sh my conscience is clear to keep them home but that's just me if i didn't have a choice they would go back to school just like and wear a mask just like everybody else that has to send their kid to school so i just feel like when we go up to the school as much as i love their school they love us we've always been supportive of them vice versa whatever they don't say anything. I just feel like they're like, hey, Miss Mendoza. And I'm like, hey, yeah. Like, oh, convenient. You'll bring your kid here for pictures or for their screening test or that's all they've been up there for. <laughs> but you won't let them be here full time. And it has nothing to do with the school. Autumn's not in school and she goes to a different school. You know, it's just. And I'm in pre K. Yeah, she's in pre K. So I, I, it's just more about my personal feelings on keeping them as safe as possible i know when i go to the store when i go to clinic i'm keeping myself i'm keeping my mask on i'm keeping my hands clean like that kind of stuff i wear my glasses that's kind of like a shield and whatnot which i need to be wearing more of now that i mentioned that but when i send if i were to send them anywhere them i've seen okay good it's a couple minutes late um i've seen like the inside of the classes and there are kids that aren't wearing their mask and kids are nasty so that's just my personal preference. I have nothing against people that are sending their kids to school. You do whatever it works best for your family. So um, it just kind of feels a little strange every time we have to go up there. It's nice to see everyone, but then I still, like I said, feel almost like an outsider kind of. Yeah, it's a very it's a strange feeling. So anyway, that's kind of what's been going on this morning. But she passed her hearing and vision, which I knew she would because she passed at the pediatrician's office so I wasn't concerned about it also we had to switch we had Everly's well child check today after it got rescheduled from a week and a half ago it got rescheduled again for tomorrow which ended up working out better because oh this hair he had his appointment and um there you go go ahead and sit down still looking just as fabulous as ever I actually don't know what I'm gonna wear where I'm making prepping dinner for tonight we're having a potluck at my brother's house because yes beautiful snowman go put over there so we can turn it in and you have one more thing you have to do we're getting together for dinner just honestly because none of us have anything else better to do but also because the boys are going to be leaving for a little while so um we thought we would get them together before they do leave so tonight dinner is what we're doing i think my brother and most are getting pictures tomorrow their holiday or just their annual pictures or something i don't know so for dinner we're doing potluck style everyone is bringing whatever they want so i decided to do sides because i really didn't have anything that was like main dish worthy so i think nin picked up the main dish i think my mom's doing i don't know a side or dessert and i think I don't know what my grandma's doing. I don't know what Chubby and Melissa are doing. So we're doing, I decided to do two sides. So we're doing roasted potatoes. So I had some red potatoes, but it wasn't enough for everybody. So I'm doing half red potatoes and then like half the container is going to be red potatoes. Half the container is going to be sweet potatoes. And I'm going to actually air fry 
the sweet potatoes, but the red potatoes I'm roasting in the oven. And then we're also doing um, green beans with bacon bits and garlic and stuff. So it should be pretty good. I'm excited. Everyone is still kind of just lounging in their pajamas and Everly's taking a nap. She had PT this afternoon. I still need to edit. And so yeah, I'm getting my sides prepped so that I can go edit, hopefully. I think Maddie's upstairs watching TV. Emmy's playing with her iPod. Autumn was doing some schoolwork. She just got tested, her teacher tested her over the alphabet. So yeah, it's just been kind of a schoolwork type of day. Oh, by the way, my school did not accept that ProMed certification that I spent three hours doing and paid $62 for the other day. Very upset, <laughs> very upset. I emailed them yesterday and I was like, you guys, ex you uh, guarantee 100% certification. I, my school's not accepting it. I don't, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So they actually ended up giving me a refund, which is great, but they cannot refund my three hours of time. So it's fine, lesson learned. Now I have to go to an in-person class because the American Heart Association is not doing online classes. So, yeah, I need to, man, these sweet potatoes are tough today. I need to, actually I scheduled that class. I need to go Friday for that. So just one more thing to add to my week of fun. But the girls only have two more days of school and then Christmas break. And I'm so looking forward to just lounging around, not having to worry about schoolwork every day. It's just gonna be so nice. Unfortunately, we usually have so many activities scheduled for Christmas break, and unfortunately this year, we're doing none of them. But it's fine. At least we won't have schoolwork to worry about for a couple of weeks, so. I'm gonna finish prepping my meals for tonight. Try and edit and at least edit so that the vlog can be exported. I can always upload later can I do chores? if I need to. You want to do chores? Uh -huh. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so our potluck, we've already eaten, but we have a little bit left over. Cocktail weenies and barbecue sauce. That's what Nin brought. We have um, Italian lemon chicken. Should we made that? We brought the roasted red potatoes and the half charred sweet potatoes, but. This whole thing was full, so clearly they went over well. Green beans, again, the whole thing was full. Mom brought mixed fruit with Cool Whip. It turned out really, really good. Everybody loved it. We even have seconds coming. Would you like more? What do you need more of, baby? We are headed home. Dinner is good. We were only there for a couple of hours, but the night went really fast. Ended up working out perfectly. We had just the right amount of food, and it was super cool to be able to feed everyone for honestly very inexpensive for each of us and my mom <laughs> brought the fruit salad and she probably ended up ha paying the most because she bought quick like pre-sliced fruit and stuff so um, other than that it was everything was super good everyone ate and had a good time we got to visit for a little while Nin had these cute stockings I should have brought my camera to show you guys but she had these cute stockings for her cat Sadie and Sophie um, she got them like customized with their face on them. I was like, oh, I want to get those for Lola and Mila. They're so cute. I should have showed you. I was like, oh, I felt bad. Like we've never got stocking stockings for the animals. Just always like an ornament or whatever. But those were really cute. So I'm going to have to go look at them. I don't know if I have super good pictures. The problem is Mila's a baby. So like she's not going to look the same next year probably or she may be Lola kind of looks the same as she did when she was a baby anyway we left a little bit earlier because we're trying to make it back to the neighborhood for Santa's drive through um, we haven't missed one in several years like probably four or five Emmy was super little right mm -hmm. Maddie was a toddler mm -hmm. Autumn wasn't even born the first year we did it so yeah like at least Five, maybe even six years we've been seeing Santa drive by on his fire truck and we may miss it because tonight was our night and we scheduled I scheduled dinner and didn't even think about it so 
visited with family and now we're like trying to get home so that we can hopefully see Santa before he leaves the neighborhood. We made it just in time! Woo! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made it! I'm so excited! Santa threw a bunch of candy, so the girls picked out the ones that they want. Autumn got Nerds and Skittles. Maddie got Twix and one of these. I don't know what that one is. Baby Ruth, maybe? And Nerds, yeah. Twix, and Emmy got Skittles, Twix, mm -hmm. and I think a Snickers and a Reese's Cup. Yes. Okay. I, I had them wait. I opened up all the packages and made them wash their hands, which we would do anyway, but oh, I they were touching the packages, so I was like, I'm going to move it to the mm -hmm. COVID time, we're gonna go ahead and uh, be safe. Be safe. <laughs> so I opened up everything for them and put them on a napkin. Yes, you may. Do not drop those, okay? The cats will try and eat them. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't believe we made it just in time. And perfect timing. It's a good thing. So exciting. It's a good thing that we were delayed. Also, this is the carousel. Emmy did a great job putting it all together, but we came to the conclusion, I don't know if it was because they were a year old or what, but a lot of it didn't, like it wasn't sticky enough to, to stay, so it's kind of falling apart. But she did a really good job putting it together. It, was, it took you a long time, huh? Yeah, two days almost. Yeah. Well, three days. But she did it. Mm -hmm. Just some of it's hanging on by a thread, but it's okay. It's gonna be decoration. That's, that's the gingerbread house. Again, still hanging on by a thread. Oh my goodness, Aurora. You got in the snacks. And she ate them all. <laughs> okay, so for dinner tonight, we're making, we're pizza. making pizzas. <laughs> we're just using some non, I had this in the, where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. Um, I had this in the freezer. This is from, from Lulo. This was from Costco. It comes with a bunch of them. 18 mini non originals. Um, I actually think these are like five points a piece or four points on Weight Watchers, but they're perfect little mini pizza sizes. I have some uh, just tomato sauce, and then I let the girls kind of dress theirs however they want. Have some tomatoes and some artichokes, feta cheese, um, regular cheese, pepperoni, pesto. Uh, I did just a pepperoni with some chives, and this one has tomato sauce, feta cheese, artichokes, tomatoes, and a tiny bit of my serving of mozzarella cheese as well. Oh, and some chives too. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Good evening. This is the first time I'm actually showing my face today. Um, hi. <laughs> I washed my hair this morning because it was just getting a little too greasy for my comfort. Can mommy talk? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? No matter if I wash it or not though, these little baby hairs stick out everywhere, man. Everywhere. Look at that. Curly, not curly. They just stick out. So it is what it is. I thought I would give an update. So it's been two full days since I got the Botox. And this is... I'm still able to do... I can feel the most resistance 
when I'm trying to frown, but I can still lift my eyebrows pretty high up, so that's day two. What's wrong? We only have one more day of distance learning and I cannot wait to just do fun activities, chill out all day. They wanna play, play. They wanna do electronics, do electronics, do Christmas activities, all kinds of fun stuff at home. <laughs> but I just can't wait to like chill out and enjoy the last little bit of time that my honey bunny has at home before he goes back to work. And our life gets cray again, huh? I know I haven't vlogged much yesterday or today. I don't know why my face is red. <laughs> Everly got me good, you see that? She scratched me, her nails. I felt like they were trimmed, but apparently not that great because <laughs> her nails got me pretty good. When we were doing PT, I don't know, she went to go like reach for me and clawed my face, so whatever. Anyway, I know I didn't vlog really yesterday, or today much except to update you on my Botox, which I don't know. The more I look it up, the more I feel like th what's weird is I can still do this, but I can't feel it. I don't know if that makes sense at all. <laughs> like, I can't feel my forehead moving. I can see it moving, but I can't feel it moving. It's really weird but not weird to where like I notice it all the time. That's something that I was kind of concerned about because I I feel like <laughs> not everything the Kardashians say is truthful, but I remember one time watching Kim Kardashian get Botox and she said it was so weird like that she couldn't feel, she felt like her face was stiff and all these things and I don't feel like that at all. I feel like I still can move my eyebrows. Maybe in a few more days I won't feel like that, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I totally did not mean to make this yesterday and today's vlog all about Botox, but that's what it ended up being because I'm just, I'm kind of on the struggle bus and I feel like you guys are seeing it too in, like I've got so many Christmas cards this year. It makes me so, so happy and so many of you guys that just enjoy watching our family so, so much, but I feel like since the pandemic, maybe even before then I feel like I've just kind of stayed at a standstill with my YouTube channel and I don't know how to make it better for you guys or how to improve so I really would like some constructive criticism from the people that watch me frequently I know I get a lot of like it's totally fine you're doing great you're doing all these things like don't even worry about it I love watching you no matter what you put up, blah, blah, blah. Like I, I get a lot of that, a lot of positive feedback and I'm so grateful for you guys, I truly am. But I feel like I've hit a little bit of a wall. And the last time I felt like I hit a wall, I just stopped vlogging. And I don't really wanna do that. I, I really enjoy vlogging, but I just feel like maybe the break is what we need. Maybe that's what we need. We just, I feel like the schoolwork is taking a toll on all of us mentally. I like, I see what the girls go through, what they're learning in school, except they get to be around their friends. Doing it here at home, I think is just really taking a mental toll on everybody. Because normally, we do a little bit of homework every day, and it's really not that serious. And a lot of it they did in class, but now it's like, we're double checking, rechecking, redoing work, turning in work that didn't get turned in correctly. Like it's just a constant rotating thing. And I feel like that's kind of reflected in my overall attitude. Plus I just don't feel that great about myself. I've been up and down in my weight for months and months and months. I had gotten a hold of it and then I just let myself kind of creep a few pounds on and then a few pounds more and now I just can't seem to keep a grasp of it and I never I've always struggled with this so I'm just being real with you guys I know some of you appreciate how real I am I've just always struggled with this and I was talking with my mom about it tonight I talk with them the desk regularly and I truly truly think it's not even just the pandemic it's because the girls are distance learning because our time is just so consumed with their distance learning. It's like 
by the time one Zoom is over, another one is starting. And by the time we get done with one assignment, <laughs> one of the other ones needs help with the other assignment. It's just constant. So I feel like I don't have a lot of time to myself, which is totally fine. I We've set ourselves up to have the girls at home and I'm not taking good care of myself at all. And being at home bored does not help. So I, I don't know what I need to like get myself back in gear. And maybe you guys are feeling that too. And if so, let me know in the comments below. I really, like I said, would like some constructive criticism on to what you guys watch. Maybe you watch other vloggers that you really enjoy and maybe you think I need to change some things up. Any feedback would be appreciated because I just feel like every day is just the same thing over and over and over and it's just so boring. I don't know how you guys stand watching me sometimes, I swear. So anyway, I'm going to call it a vlog hopefully tomorrow. It's the last day of school before break. I'm so excited. Hopefully tomorrow is a, a better day, although I have to do BLS during the day but still we're gonna get through it we're gonna do good I'm about to pack up all my <laughs> health pills <laughs> Lola and um, call it a night so I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you tomorrow